Collecting safety data during clinical trials is essential to develop safe and effective pharmaceuticals. Safety monitoring in a clinical trial protects individual trial participants and allows collection of safety information to be used in assessing the drug's risk profile. Throughout a drug's development, safety data about the drug and patients are collected comprehensively. But in later stages of development, a drug's safety profile may be well understood and documented, so continued collection of comprehensive safety data may be of limited value. In such instances, a selective or risk proportionate approach to safety data collection may be more appropriate. Selective safety data collection limits the collection of safety information to specific data needed for drug companies and regulators to make an informed benefit-risk assessment specific to the proposed indication. This reduction in data collection allows the trial to avoid collecting data that would not advance the understanding of a drug safety. This approach increases the trial's efficiency, allowing the conduct of large-scale trials to answer important questions about long-term efficacy and safety without repeating unnecessary collection of some types of data. For example, consider a drug with a well-characterized safety profile where hypoglycemia is a known adverse reaction and labeling recommends routine blood glucose monitoring. Using selective safety data collection, blood glucose data would not be collected unless associated with an adverse event because it is no longer needed to understand the drug's safety profile. The type of data that can be omitted or collected with reduced frequency includes non-serious adverse events, various types of laboratory monitoring, electrocardiograms or imaging tests, physical examinations and vital sign data, and changes in concomitant therapies after concomitant medication use is documented at baseline. Selective safety data collection is most appropriate for drug trials conducted post-approval, where data from pre-approval trials can support a conclusion that the drug safety profile is well understood. However, there may be some circumstances when selective collection would be appropriate in pre-approval trials particularly if evidence exists from completed clinical trials with the specific drug or extensive experience with the class of drugs. Selective safety data collection could be used in a clinical trial supporting a new indication of an approved drug where the population for the previously approved indication is similar to the one enrolled for the new indication. In a clinical trial intended to expand the label information of an approved drug with additional endpoints in the same patient population. In a required post-approval safety trial designed to further investigate potential safety concerns about specific parameters. And in a clinical trial designed to provide additional evidence of efficacy if the drug safety profile is already well characterized. There are several ways to design a trial using selective safety data collection. A trial could use selective safety data collection for all participating patients focusing on specific characteristics of the drug. A trial could use comprehensive collection for a specific subset of patients. For example, comprehensive collection could be used with participants who are 65 years and older while selective collection is used for the rest of the participants. A randomly selected number of study sites or patients could also have comprehensive collection while other sites or patients have selective collection. Comprehensive collection could also be used for the trial's initial period and selective collection for the remainder. For example, a large trial that uses comprehensive collection in the pre-approval stage and is ongoing when the drug is approved could be changed to selective collection after approval. There are many factors to be considered when deciding if a drug safety profile is well characterized. Some of these factors are whether the drug has already received marketing authorization from a regulatory authority, how well certain characteristics of a drug are already understood, like the drug's mechanism of action, characterization of off-target effects, the safety profile for other drugs in the same class, 
drug interactions, and drug metabolism and excretion. How well certain factors compare to those in previous clinical trials, like similarity in the dosage amount, the duration of exposure, the drug product and route of administration, and the demographics of the populations in the planned and previous trials. Whether the number of drug-exposed trial participants who contributed to the drug safety characterization is large enough to instill confidence in the conclusion. The safety profile's consistency across previous trials that used comprehensive collection. The intensity of safety monitoring in previous trials and the quantity and quality of post-approval safety data. Some things don't change whether using comprehensive or selective safety data collection. Baseline data must be collected as determined by the trial objectives to ensure that prospective trial participants are eligible. Other information that should be collected include serious adverse events, important medical events, medication errors or overdose, adverse events that led to discontinuation, pregnancy and lactation exposure and outcomes, and adverse events of special interest, like laboratory abnormalities identified in the protocol as critical to safety evaluations. Clinical trials must still be conducted in accordance with local and regional laws and regulatory requirements. Selective safety data collection does not change investigators' responsibility as healthcare professionals to monitor trial participants and ensure they are treated according to prevailing standards of care. Adverse events must be documented and safety issues must be reported in accordance with local or regional requirements. And, as circumstances change, concerns may emerge that will necessitate intensification of safety monitoring or reversion to comprehensive safety data collection. Before using selective safety data collection in a clinical trial, agreement on the clinical trial protocol should be reached between drug companies and the regulatory authority. Selective safety data collection appropriately applied in certain clinical trials will have a significant impact on the feasibility and efficiency of clinical trials designed to yield important new medical knowledge to advance public health. For more information, please go to FDA.gov and search for FDA's Guidance for Industry, E19, a selective approach to safety data collection in specific late-stage pre-approval or post-approval clinical trials.